Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Look within to solve your problems. I'm going to tell you what, one of the things that uh, everyone has to do when they're having any problems, they got to look within first. Yeah, it's easy. See, one of the, one of the, well, one of the problems is that when people are going through something, they look outside of themselves. They look at the days, they blame their problems on other people, other groups of people, things of that nature. But if you're having trouble going through life, that's within you. That's, that's in you. Why are you responding to stuff like outside stimuli in a certain way? Only way that you can is it got to be something inside of you. If you're having bad relationships, that, and that's always a great example, if you keep running into members of the opposite sex who are treating you a certain way, only thing they had in common was you. So if you're a man, you keep running into bad women, only thing these women had in common was you. If you're a woman, you keep getting dogged out or something like that, the only thing those guys had in common was you. What was it within you that attracted that person? Or if you don't have that job that you want or the life you want to live, um, well, what's stopping it is ultimately within you. Do you have the skills you need to get that job or a way to live the lifestyle or, you know, or if you don't have friends or anything like that, what is it within you that's preventing that? See, understand something. When, once you start looking within, you realize you got power to change stuff because you can't change the outside world, but you can change yourself. You can respond, you know, because that's something, that's something I found in my life. I don't talk about anything I haven't experienced. You know, I was going through, there'd be times I'd be going through some problems and everything, but it's like, no, let me just change myself, change my attitude and everything. And then things, I've noticed that when things are going bad and then, you know, I ain't looking within, I'm, I'm blaming the days. Once I stopped blaming the days, look within. I was like, well, wait a minute. I got control over that. I can change my attitude. And I, it would change relationships. It kept me in a thousand jobs. I always joke about that, but that's how I always got a job. I will go to the job and learn what I need to learn, and I will work hard. I had control over that. Let me use that as an example. You get some people who have trouble on jobs. They can't keep a job. Uh, you know, they're always having trouble, but I can always point to them. I can always point to them. Like, I've been in management positions. When somebody had a trouble, it was always them. It wasn't the job itself, because if you're on a job, they just want you to do the work. And yeah, you're going to have some people who are going to try to be problematic, but then you can look them in the eye and say, no, nah, I'm going to do my job. I've done that on several jobs. Or if you're talking about relationships, you got to look, okay, what is it within you that's having all these problems? Because then once you deal with that, you can deal with everything else. You can deal with everything else. Even when something outside of you happens, even when something, okay, this ain't within you, something outside of you, how are you responding to it? Are you responding in a negative way or a positive way? Whenever something outside of my control happens, I'm like, okay. What can I do to solve this problem? I do, not somebody else. What can I do to solve the problem? Because that's where you have 100% control is over yourself, over your thoughts, over how you respond in, to the world, how you moving through the world. And yeah, there are plenty of offenses. The days, hey, they try to control you and everything. But what happens when you say, no, nah, I'm not gonna allow that mechanism to control me? because you got control over your own thoughts. You can respond a different way. You can look to solve it in a different way. It's like, all you have to do is say, well, okay, I'm having this issue. What can I do within to solve it? What can I do within? How can I change myself? How can I change myself to get a positive relationship? What am I doing? You know, what can I do to make more money? What can I do to live in a better place? You know, one problem, you might live in a bad neighborhood. It's terrible, it's really stressful. Okay, yeah, the neighborhood is bad, but you're in that neighborhood. What are you doing to get out? 
What are you doing to get out? And more than just looking, okay, say you need more money. Okay, what are you doing? Are you getting a certification? Are you looking at stuff that you can make more money? Are you looking for another job? You might need a part-time job. You, you need it. You know, what skills are you learning so that you can bring in more money? And then what are you doing? Are you looking around? You know, and even when you in that bad neighborhood, are you behaving in such a way where people don't want to bother you? Because I've seen that happen. I've seen that. I remember uh, back in 1984, summer of 84, I was working in one of, at the time, one of the worst neighborhoods in uh, D.C., helping to clean the streets and everything. It was bad. And I ain't going to call the uh, neighborhood out, but it was bad at the time. And I remember, like, all the, uh, you know, had projects over there, small houses. There was one small house where it was beautiful. It had, like, a garden, I mean, like, flowers, everything. And it stood out and learned a lady lived there. And she's in this bad neighborhood, but she was just, she just did something different. And, and shoot, everybody respected her, the drug dealers, the... Uh, the dope boys, everybody respected her space because she made it beautiful. She had control over that. She could have said, oh, I'm just around here. I don't have to fix up or anything. But she said she's going to have her space is going to look beautiful. I'll never forget that. I, that's one of those memories. You know, she in a terrible, I mean, it was a terrible, notoriously terrible neighborhood. But, and no, I'm, I'm not going to, I ain't going to put them out there. But, you know, it was just like, and I always remembered that. You know, no matter where you are, you can make a change. There's been times, I can think of several instances in my life which looked bad at first, but then I looked at it another way and turned it to my advantage. Anybody can do that. See, here's the thing. When you blame an outside, see, you don't have control over what outsiders do to you, what the outside world, you have no control over that but you do have control over your response to it. So even when the outside world brings a problem, you have control over how you're gonna to respond to that problem. And understand that that's what gives you power. And that's how you gotta be. That's how you gotta be going through life because there's always gonna be something. I don't care who you are. I don't care what your racial background is, your financial background, there's always gonna be something. But if you wanna solve the issue, you got to look within, all right? Look within. There ain't no ifs, ands, and buts, all right? So anyway, that's all I have for today. I want y'all to really think about that, and I want you to look in the mirror. And, you know, people who follow me know I've been on that thing. I've always been on that thing. Look within, all right? So anyway, that's all I have for now. Yeah, keep rising to become the best version of yourself. Peace and blessings, everyone.